welcome to Nassau. We're going to give you a great tour of something special today. We've never done it. just arrived in Nassau and we're going to give you a special excursion tour here in Nassau. I think it's called Balmorial Beach Park. We'll get you more details as we get there but it's going to be a great day. It's beautiful and we are going to have fun. Make sure you like and subscribe and don't miss future videos, cruising videos, excursion videos. Let's get right into it. And the Disney Dream is here. It looks like a great ship. It's going to be a busy day. <laughs> busy day, but a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the tour. As you can see from this map, Balmoral Island is very close to Nassau. It's probably about a 25-minute boat ride, but it is a beautiful boat ride. Carnival legend in Nassau. You can swim with the stingrays. What an inviting view. This is the transportation to Balmore Island. Welcome to Balmoral Island. Balmoral Island, Nassau, Bahamas. Check it out if you've been here many times. All right, this is something that is not included if you just do the beach day, but they do have a pool and some cabanas and you can check them out. The pool is right along the water and we'll just check out the cabanas here and see. Very nice. Welcome to Balmoral. Island. It is beautiful. Look at this beach. Insane. I really think I could live here. It's almost like a private island. Again, we're on the Carnival Cruise Line. And this was an excursion. I want to say it was $49 each but if you just want to come float for the day this is the place tubes maybe come with uh, your beach stay you don't pay extra for the umbrellas or the chairs which is awesome but why you come here is for sure this clear water been coming to Nassau for a long time and this is the first I've ever heard of this Balmore Island maybe I've missed it it's possible but as you can see from this part of the video it's on the same island as Sandals if I remember right this place was destroyed in the last hurricane but it looks like they're building it back up so again you're sharing a beach with the world famous Sandals Great seating area here just to be able to relax. Check out the inside of this place. Let's just take a stroll through here. 
This is the VIP portion of it. Somebody's cooking something because I can smell it and it smells amazing. Let's take a walk down this boardwalk and see what else we can get into. Yes, they have dolphins, stingray encounters, some shopping, and of course, many bars. As I said, I wanted to kind of give you a tour of this whole island here, so that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if I'm in a private area or not, but uh, we're gonna keep trying. It is a great getaway. I'm gonna give you my total review of this versus Blue Lagoon, so check out that video. Uh, it's a complete tour of Blue Lagoon Island, and I will let you know the comparisons at the end here with my wife. I love, love the architecture of these old buildings. I don't know how old they are. They look old. I'm sure the storm had something to do with how they look. I will tell you, the ladies in men room is not five star. I heard some of the trainers heading to the Dolphins. Wonder where they're going. Dolphin education classes. See the dolphin stingray encounters this way. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the dolphins are singing. This is where the dolphins are. I'll try and sneak down there and see if we can catch anything. You can see them there holding the dolphins. They got another group out there. They're all over the place in here, just swimming around, enjoying us as much as we enjoy them. Looks like a mermaid. You can see here, they are cleaning the bushes, keeping things clean. Uh, it is my opinion, they're trying to compete with Blue Lagoon in Nassau, but this place has an amazing future for sure. And like I said, this is why you come here, to float in this crystal clear water. I will tell you, this is a great beach stop and you could probably not near as crowded as Blue Lagoon would be today with three cruise ships in port. So it is, if you're just looking for a beach, this is almost half the price, maybe it's worth it. Now it does not include lunch or drinks, so you're on your own there but it is a very relaxing quiet beautiful beach okay so this is my husband's favorite way to relax on the beach if he can find a hammock on the island he's in it hi honey are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> this is where the shops are. Just look at all this foliage and the great palm trees. And I know you can imagine yourself at this bar sipping a drink. Just look for the boards. They show you what time your cruise ship returns for the day all right so i told you i'd do a final review of this balmoral island is that right balmoro balmoro island between this and blue lagoon which we were there just four months ago i hope you watched that video it's a great video this place if you just want to sit back and relax it's very peaceful i don't know there i don't see anybody in the water right now but we saw probably 300 people going to blue lagoon so blue lagoon is very nice if you've never been there make sure you go if you want peace and quiet maybe this is the place to go yeah what do you think i think so this is just relaxing it's calm um and it's not crowded there's nobody we we're the only people within 100 chairs yeah <laughs> um all the water sports seem to be included the paddle boards i know you pay extra for that at blue lagoon um the kayaks again, yeah the inner tubes great stop you know if you're just looking for a beach day and you don't care about the food or any of that 
They do have a bar. They do have some food. Prices are about normal in my opinion, yeah. but yeah. I think it's a definite decent stop. Number two to Blue Lagoon though, I think, as far as uh, just a lot more stuff to do at Blue Lagoon. Stay tuned, see you next time. Balmore Island, don't miss this stop if you're just looking for a beach day because that's all you need when you're in the Bahamas.